All right, we're back with more X-Men Wolverine Origins. So let's go. Yeah, you won't be able to stealth around here. Basically, oh yeah, and then get these guys with the electricity. Okay, let's see if I can actually pull this off. No, I say, let me see if I can actually pull this off. There's triple strike you can do. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can. Okay, or you know. Everything can blow up. Alright, get fucked. Yeah, I can show up rage mode though. Double tap the claw button and just hit a guy. And that's it. Now, this mode does have its downsides because you can't use switches and stuff like that when you're in rage mode. Holy crap, I'm at low health. I need to regen. So, let's just sit around for a bit. Let's just talk a bit. So, this game, the reason I want to do this game is because it's an extremely fun game and I just want to do something, you know, small and not hard with tons of collectibles and stuff like that, just to relax for a bit. The next game I'm planning to do will be something I know you all enjoy, because I've done something similar before and I know you all enjoyed that, so... But yeah, this is just a filler game, and it's a, it's has a few levels, which is... A lot of fun to play, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this game. So I think we're all you're all gonna enjoy it. Uh, I might be sitting around like this a bit, but I'm most like I might cut that out later on when I need to regen like this, unless I have something like I want to talk to about. Uh, but I can't think about much. Well, but then again, that's for future. So we'll have to see how it works out. Alright, that should be good with our health. I don't want to bore you guys to death either. He's been through here. What? We haven't been through here. Have we? Come on. Strike your ways. Yeah, prepare to see strikes a lot. Whoa. What the hell are you doing? And you. Come on. Yeah, strikes are definitely the best way to kill people in this game. Then you got a metal door here, which you have to break through. Uh, these things are mines. If they're red, they're fine. If they're or if they're red, they're not fine. If they're green, they're fine. And if you blow yourself up like that, you're a dumbass. Is there something over here? No. There's something over here though. That's what I know. There's a cerebral file over here. And uh, which is weird because at this time and point, cerebral wasn't even built yet, as far as I know. So this basically unlocks character profiles, which you can look at later. I'll probably have a look at those in a bonus episode, so yeah. Let's keep going. Whoa! Who the fuck was that? Well, that my friends was Sabertooth. We all know Sabertooth, don't we? We'll be seeing him a lot in this game as well. You know how much he loves Wolverine. Come on, boys. Let's play. Oh, I can't show enough to triple on there. Yeah, you want to be quick in this room because the gas will slowly tick down your health until you kill every enemy. Then you can get out of here and kill these dicks. Alright, so... There is something over here you can collect, I do believe. Uh, first of all, I think it's health. Which is always nice. A lot of health. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Yo, boy. Come here. Yeah. So I should have turned off the tor tutorial song because those are just annoying. That's another cerebral file like there, Department H and Weapon X facility. Which I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Okay, so there's a stealth uh, kill over here. Uh, some 
cooling pods over here or something. I don't know. It's some kind of pool. Which kills people, apparently. Maybe liquid nitri nitrogen, I don't know. But they didn't get any drowned, they didn't freeze, so... It's just pure speculation. speculation. But then again, this was 1968, so who knows what they had. Oh. Come on. Come over here. No, no. Target the other guy. Target. Oh, there we go. Triple strike. Yeah. You also get a dog tag if you pull off a triple strike, which is awesome. I love triple strikes. They're definitely a lot of fun. Not like these decks right here, which I never found. Yeah, and here you get some fun stuff to play around with. Come here. Come here. Away from the laser. Yeah, that's the laser. They fill up your rage meter pretty quick, so... You want to avoid those as much as you can. Come here, boy. Sliced and diced. Alright, now we can move on. Stay with the laboratory area lo located. And that's part two. Uh, below ground finished. I'm gonna start cutting pro most likely between every one of these. But it depends on how long the parts really are, so let's keep going. Part 3, Freak Show! Find a scientist to lead you to the professor. Yeah, that's basically all you're trying to do here is... Get out of this, to kill the professor guy. Guess what he did to you. Because you're pissed! Oh, who's that dickbag? Whoever it is, is gonna get his ass kicked. Yeah, enemies in this, some enemies in this game will also try to do a stealth strike on you. But it's not really that bad. You can you can stealth strike them anyway, so. If you're smart about it, they will never stealth strike you. Or something. Unless you fuck up like I am and can't do a strike. I rely way too much on striking strikes in this game and I'm sorry I know a lot of people criticize my me combat method in God of War uh, but that's just how I f how I do in this game it's nothing I can improve upon I'm sorry if it bothers you but I'm sure there's other games you can, out there you can watch if that bothers you anyways as you can see you can always still strike this guy back which is one of the advantages Wolverine has uh, being able to sense people and I just fucked up. Yeah, this is what happens if you get caught. Which I was stupid in, by the way. Yeah, I'm here. And now I'm on fire. Great. You, stop setting me on fire. Set yourself on fire. Alright. Good. Yeah, there's a few enemies around here. So we'll kind of take them all out. I think there's something over here as well. Uh, let's see, let me turn this on. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, help. Nice. Uh, nothing here. I just sworn there was like something over here somewhere, like a comic or something. Maybe that's later on. Shit! Yeah, that was stupid. I was setting the mines for them, I forgot I activated them. <laughs> See, it's about everything over here, I think. But watch out, if you turn on your senses, you'll see there's another guy on this side here. So, you wanna be careful when you walk around. Make sure you turn your senses on now and then to see where enemies are. Can't go that way. I believe we have to go this way. Okay. 
Come here, boys. Time to play. Time to party. Time to party with the madman. Madman with the claws. Oh, I just realized what we're about to about to meet. Is there any health in this room? Please tell me there are. No? Maybe up here. God damn it. Da thank you. I needed that health because of some what we're about to face. We're about to face a special enemy, which is only in this first act of the game, but they're extremely annoying to kill. And we're about to find them now. Sad, twisted experiments created by department agent sickos. But thankfully, we got rage mode. Which helps a lot on this, guys. Which I probably should have saved, but oh well. And I think there's one like down here somewhere. See, I think there is. I can't remember. Though. Yeah, there are. Come here. You can't still kill this guy, so don't even bother trying. Oh yeah. You can't strike them, though. Or you can with uh, multiple strikes, not single ones, I don't think. What the next gone wrong? Yeah, there's a few of these guys. What the hell Weapon X was even doing is beyond me. A genetic code. How to find myself a live scientist. <laughs> live scientist in this place? Easier said than done. So now you're gonna have a couple of these to kill. And strike mode is about to be activated. Or rage mode, which is good. Guess we're almost dead. But luckily there's half over here, so Yeah, you wanna be careful about your health in this area because these guys can easily kill you. Trust me. That happened to me on ex just all of a sudden to me once. Whoa! You can't hide from me. God damn it, Sabertooth. Stop jumping on me. But hey, look at the bright side. He uh, can't get close up. He removed our helm, which we had on us. So I guess it's useful for something. Don't hurt me. Come here. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of these guys you have to fight. Come on. I just want to get a strike going. Yeah. You can't even kill these guys with strikes unless you have like the best strikes in the games, which we won't get for quite a while. So, just gotta fight these guys as best as you can. And be careful in your health. The place is overrun with those freaks. Protect me and I'll help us both get out of here. Uh, we'll see about that, Doctor. I'm watching you. Yeah, this is where we wanna be careful because this is where I've died the most against these guys. Come on, I want to activate rage mode, goddammit. Alright, strike works too. Yeah! Whoa. Shit. Thank you! Both of you die. Holy crap, that was close. Alright, now it's just Come to start regening health. From this point on, until the end of this level. Because there's no more enemies to kill before the end of the level. Just follow this dick bag. We can get to zone two if I unlock the sublevel access corridor. Go. Go. Yes, go indeed. I wish there was some health refills around here, but I used them all up. But oh well, we'll be fine until we get to where we're going. Go on, bub. Follow me. Nah, where to? This way. We're nearly there. Guess we're here. The Oracle access card is in there. All right, let's get it. A double cross. I should have known. Never trust a scientist. 
yeah, that's part three, the freak show. And another level is about to happen, which is an interesting one, a fun one. I think it's the last one of this act, actually. I'm most likely going to stop recording after that. Yeah, the first act is pretty, pretty short. They get longer after a while, after it goes on. But yeah, let's keep going. Let me guess. You're the run. Oh shit, it's the fight, the boss fight against Sabretooth. Part 4, the runt of the litter. So yeah, all you want to do here is get behind him. And wait for he does an attack. And get behind him. And if I can actually do it. Strike! Yeah, that's basically how you want to fight him. You don't want to fight this guy head on. He will kill you. Oh, well, not really because it doesn't hurt that much. But yeah, you want to get back behind him. That's the only way you really you can hurt him much. Because he has a healing factor too. And... Every now and then he will throw stuff at you. Just, uh... But yeah, when he does this, you most likely want to block. And then, boom! It's probably the mo best way you can do damage on against him in this part of the fight. Uh, yeah, I got fire in my belly. You have fire in your head. Yeah, man. Wow, rage mode is almost activated again for me. Because I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just have to keep doing this until a certain point in the fight. And just, like... Wow. I'm being bad. I don't even have a lock. Target lock. Wow. Yeah, so this is uh, this is phase two when you get him to low HP. Yeah, man. I think I hit him there. Yeah, so you want to knock him into this big tank here. That's all you want to do. Keep doing that until he gets knocked out. You have to do it about three times, I do believe. Yeah, man. I think we have him here. Nope. Oh, we got him. Holy crap, we didn't hit the tank there at all. Yeah, that's the Saber 2 fight. Saber 2 fights are... Or this fight is probably... One of the hardest boss fights, actually. Because you can't actually just knock him straight down right away. So now I just wait for him to pass out. And then one final strike. That had to hurt. Animal keen senses may pick something up. If you do this, you can see everything it drops. It drops a bunch of these. And a key card and a cerebral file. And now we got 14 out of 30, which means we unlock the next strike level. Which is awesome. Or did we do that in the last one? Now we're gonna unlock it after we finish this level. Which is amazing. We also got the Cerebro file for Sabertooth, which is great. So all we have to do now really is find a professor, which is what that key card is all about. It's not actually that far away, it's just over here. Uh, More weapon X wow, it's other side of the genetics area. I always wondered how this guy got out since the doors are locked and all. Wow! Stop fucking dying. Thank you. Alright, that should be the last enemy, I do believe. Yeah. Let's enter the core chamber. Come on. Yeah, this is the core chamber, you all remember this. This is where uh, Wolverine had his surgery. Inside of that tank in the middle. I do believe there's a cerebral file around here somewhere, though. It's either here or in the other one. Yeah, it's here. The Professor. So yeah, that's the uh, Professor X uh, Cerebro file. Yeah, let's finish this level. Not you. You 
think you've won, don't you? Well, you haven't. You're a dead man. How can a dead man kill? Only a fool designs a weapon without a failsafe. All Weapon X subjects were implanted with a dormant killer virus. The Shiva strain, 100% lethal. How long? For a normal human, one year. But with a mutant healing factor, who knows? And the plot thickens. Yep, we are infected with a deadly Shiva virus, which will kill us in some weird amount of time. And we got a strike level up, which means we can do stronger strikes, which we'll need in the coming levels. Uh, I'll save, why not? I'll save between, like, acts, just to be safe. Come on, thank you. Alright, just, I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna call it here. So next time we're gonna continue on with act 2 of Wolverine's Revenge. And I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Join in next time when we keep following the story of Logan. See you all later. Goodbye, all.